Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back and today we are making these adorable succulent phone chargers. You get your cord, you plug it in and then you can just plug it right on into your phone and your phone is charging. It's so cool. So I just have three different varieties here that I'll show you guys how to make but they are really cute, super simple and I hope you guys enjoy. And then also, elephant in the room, oh my gosh guys, Kawaii Super Roll Fam is officially 1 million strong which I have yet to even process. I can't believe a million million of you guys have subscribed to my channel. It means so, so much to me. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love you guys so, so much. And big, big air hugs to you guys. You're too far away for me to hug you. I look like I'm Frankenstein. But you know what I mean. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. I do have a special video planned for 1 million, but it's going to take me a little while to put together. So you can expect that probably within ideally like one to two weeks, but it's coming. So stay tuned for that special 1 million subscriber video. And then if you're new here, then make sure you tap that subscribe button because I post new videos every single week and without further ado let's hop right into it to start off we are just gonna go ahead and paint our pots I'm just using some acrylic paint here and you guys know I'm normally more of a pastel girl but today I was just feeling the bright color so I went for a nice bright pink a blue and a purple and if you find the paint is a little bit sheer just go ahead and add on a second coat also, if you guys do a lot of painting or crafting, having a heat gun is so handy. You could use a blow dryer too, but the heat gun makes it a lot faster and I definitely recommend. And then once you have your pots all ready, it's time to kawaii-fy them. You can either paint the faces on or you can grab these kawaii face stickers in my Etsy shop. I genuinely didn't plan this out that I was going to be plugging these stickers, but it just so happened when I was crafting, I was like, I need a face on them and painting them on can be a little tricky and time consuming. So these are a great solution if you're not comfortable painting on the faces because you kind of only have one shot when you're painting it or if you just want to make it go a little bit faster. Next up, let's pop in our chargers. You're going to need the rod kind of charger with both ports at the top and I'm just going to place that in the pot angled towards the back. Then I'm just going to stuff the pot with foil just because clay and model magic can be kind of expensive and I'm a little bit too cheap to fill the entire thing with clay. Might as well stuff dollar bills in there. So I decided to use foil because I can steal that from our kitchen for free which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. And now I'm just going to cover the very top of our foil with clay. Definitely go for something air dry here. I decided to use Model Magic because we're just covering the tops. Next up, to make this look a little bit more like dirt, I'm just gonna texture it with a toothbrush. Just pretend you're like really bad at brushing your teeth. And a uh, little side note, this is not the same toothbrush I use for my teeth, so don't worry in case my dentist is watching. And now this is looking good, so repeat for the rest of your pots as well. And now it's time to make our different succulents. So I am starting off with like a cactus looking one and I'm just making the shape with some more model magic. For some added cuteness, I'm also gonna pop a little flower on top and then create some dimension with some chalk pastel. And I added a yellow dot to the flower too. Looking super cute. And then next up, we're gonna make the succulent that looks kind of like a flower, also known as the Echeveria, which I looked up for you horticulture buffs. But I'm just taking three flower cookie cutters and cutting out three different sizes. Then I'm just going to pinch the ends so they look more like succulents. And now I'm just going to brush the edges with some chalk pastel for a nice soft gradient. Once you've got that finished, just stack these up and then make it a little more rounded by making your hand into a C shape and just pressing that in a circle. And now this guy is good to go, so I'm going to add him right on top of my pot. And then we're going to move on to the final style. This one is really simple. I'm just taking two shades of green and pressing them next to each other. Then with a toothpick, I'm just going to add a little bit of texture onto the front one. And this is to mimic the lines on a cactus. And then for some more dimension, I'll dust the sides with some chalk pastel. Afterwards, let these dry overnight or at least six hours. The next day, I'm just going to grab some white acrylic paint and paint on some X's. And this is kind of like an abstract representation of spikes. And now our succulent phone chargers are finished. These are so cool. Oh my gosh, I love using these. Super easy to do, but so cute. And I really hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, our succulent phone chargers are finished now. I am so excited to be using these. I think I want to get some kind of like USB hub situation going so that I can have like all three sitting on my desk in like a little garden. So if my friends come over, they can just like plug their phones in right to the cactuses. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I hope you guys like these too. But anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you tap that subscribe button because I post new videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats. 
sheets. And then check out my Etsy sticker shop right over there where I sell different planner stickers that you can just put in your agenda to help you stay motivated and organized. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you guys so, so much for 1 million. Oh my gosh, you're all so amazing. I love you guys and I'll see you guys all back here very soon. Bye guys. I'm really excited to look back on this footage and just like see the sheer terror on my face as it falls to the ground. Um, but yes, this is a weird ending to this video. So I'm gonna go now, but try not to drop your succulent phone chargers on the floor. Just a quick tip. All right, well, I'll see you guys back here very soon. Bye guys.